Good morning, children. Now we move on to your next passage. See, one thing again and again, which I've been repeatedly telling you right from the beginning, is that you need to manage your time well. Now, if you have attempted your first passage and you've taken a lot of time while doing it, now when you look at your wristwatch and you realize you're running short of time and you have your second passage to do, your writing skills, literature, now your mind will be slightly stressed, maybe a little more stressed. And when you are stressed, you cannot pick out the answers from there. So time management is very important. How will that come? No, the same thing, practice. When you will practice at home and you will practice with your uh, watch lying before you, you will be able to calculate as to how much time you took to solving uh, the first passage and how much time you need to solve the next passage. And as in when you will keep practicing, your time would improve. I am reading out the second passage to you and you will read it along with me and you will focus on it. You will not look anywhere else and you will not, uh, there should not be any disturbance around you. The passenger pigeon, Ectopistimigratorus, was once found in huge numbers in North America. Records tell of passing flocks that darkened the skies for several days at a time. The species may have peaked at 5 billion individuals. A more conservative estimate is 3 billion. Within a short time, the species disappeared completely. Given the huge size of the population, it's simply amazing that the species disappeared so quickly, says Tom Gilbert. Gilbert is a professor at the University of Copenhagen Center for Geogenetics, but he also has a part-time position as an adjunct professor at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. The history of the passenger pigeon is interesting, partly because it can tell us something about how and why species become extinct. Native Americans also relied on passenger pigeons for food. But at least in parts of the passenger pigeons range, people had learned to harvest the species at a sustainable level that didn't threaten to eradicate it. It was common in some parts of North America to not only eat young pigeons, okay, now it was uh, not only eat young pigeons that were hunted at night. Since this did not seem to scare away the adult birds or prevent them from re-nesting. But starting around 1500, a more aggressive variant of humans came to the continent with the arrival of Europeans. The hunt for passenger pigeons grew and culminated in a massive hunt for the species. Throughout the 1800s, before the species finally collapsed and disappeared, in 2014, a study in published, uh, study is published in the scientific journal PNAS strongly suggested that humans were simply the final straw in destroying a species that was already vulnerable and headed to oblivion. Now, the cladogram below follows the 2012 DNA study showing the position of the passenger pigeons among its closest relatives. Now, the, we look into it for our questions. The researchers asserted that despite their enormous numbers, the passenger pigeons were already in trouble. The population of the species varied greatly, similar to lemmings, but over a longer period of time, when the Europeans arrived, the species was already in a strong decline. 
the population was plummeting long before Europeans arrived and perhaps Europeans even contributed to a short term increase in numbers. Study of the genetic variation of the species using an investigative method called PSMC formed the background for these assertions. And now we have to concentrate a bit. The PSMC method can use the information in the genes of a single individual of a species to map the history of the species. The researchers asserted that despite their enormous numbers, the passenger pigeons were already in trouble. The population of the species varied greatly, similar to lemmings, but over a longer period of time, when the Europeans arrived, the species were already in strong decline. The population was plummeting long before Europeans arrived. We have read this. And perhaps Europeans even contributed a short term increase in number. Study of the genetic variation of the species using an investigative method called PSMC formed the background for these assertions. And now we have to concentrate a bit. The PSMC method can use the information in the genes of a single individual of a species. All right. Now the last paragraph that was repeated, you know. You should therefore be able to see how the species developed over many generations and estimate how many individuals there were at any given time, all based on single genome. Using this method, researchers found that the number of passenger pigeons was in free fall even before the arrival of the Europeans. Although the species might not have become extinct, it would have shrunk significantly in any case, maybe to only a few hundred thousand individuals. Now see that we have read the passage. Read it at your own pace, right? You, we got to understand it. And we do not have to memorize it. Our purpose is what? Our purpose is to answer the questions and to answer them quickly and correctly. Now that we have read the first passage, we have a rough idea about it. We have, it is about passenger pigeons, it is about uh, how the Europeans uh, contributed, how the humans have contributed in their downfall, you know. So we have a rough idea, it is about those passenger pigeons, uh, the passage is about, right. Now, um, like when we go with the questions, you know, what you... But we do have a rough idea, all right, this point was here, this point was there. So we could quickly go for that. There is another thing which I would like to share with you before we start looking for the answers is that when you get your question paper, you get 20 minutes of reading time. Now these 20 minutes of reading time you get, the first 5 minutes go in going through the pass, the entire paper, you know. The paper consists of 16 pages. Just check that there are all 16 pages. Then you go through the writing sections and you see this is what you are going to do. And the literature section, you feel good, all right, this I know. So you spent about 5 minutes flicking through the pages of your entire paper. Now you have got another, uh, you know, it is 20 minutes of reading time. So you have 15 minutes now. You are not allowed to write anything because that is your reading time. Now what to do in those remaining 15 minutes? In those remaining 15 minutes, read your passage, find out the answers. Although you are not allowed to uh, pick up your pen during that time, but just have an idea, all right, the answer to this is here. And then um, when you start writing, there, there you may just quickly mention it, although you are not allowed, allowed to write anything on the question paper. But just keep an idea that yes, my first answer was here, just with a slight pencil, you could just mark a dot for your own so that you do not have to again hunt for it you know? and then start looking for the, I mean then you start writing your answers that saves a lot of time. On the basis of your reading of the passage given above, answer any six of the following questions by choosing the most appropriate options. 
again our purpose is to find the answers from the passage and not to use our own imagination and not to give our own personal views. The maximum number of passenger pigeons that once flocked the skies of North America was very very clearly mentioned it was in the beginning the skies would become darkened and individual species they were on 5 billion. The conservative number puts it to 3 billion. According to cladogram 2012 DNA study, which species was found among old world pigeons? Remember that graph which is given in your passage? Just look up there, look up those bars and very clearly it is written over there. This uh, among old world pigeons, it's written over there right next to those old world pigeons, it's Columba. You don't have to read the passage, they are asking you according to cladogram 2012 DNA study. Now you don't have to go through, you just have to look at that bar diagram, just find it out from there and it's very clearly written, old world pigeons and Columba is written next to it. Easy to identify? Next is choose a reason for which the Native Americans rely on passenger pigeons. Now see you may not exactly recall what did they rely on. But you remember that North uh, Americans was mentioned somewhere in this paragraph. So you will just look for those North Americans and when you will go through those lines and there you will find that North Americans used to rely on passenger pigeons for their food. Are you getting? You do not know whether it was, you do not know the answer to this. But you know this, that Native Americans was mentioned somewhere here in this paragraph. So you just go back over there. Do not go back to the entire paragraph. Go back to where North Americans was written. Just read those three four lines. And there it is very clearly mentioned. Food. Tom Gilbert's study about passenger pigeons does it conclude that it is simply amazing that the species disappeared so quickly. It is pathetic that passenger pigeons were disliked. Nothing. It is incredible that the species flourished quickly. It is unbelievable that the species suddenly migrated. Nothing of this sort is mentioned in the passage. There is no such information in the passage. But yes, this is there. The line may not be exactly as it is, but certainly the language is the same. That can be identified if the child is focused. You are staying, your mind is on the passage and you are not thinking about anything else. It is just you, your passage and the question and the answer. That is it. Select the option that states the species of pigeons that fall under streptopelia. Now again, if you will go back to that uh, the bar diagram of 2012 DNA species, there in that, there you will find this answer. There it is written streptopelia and then there it is mentioned. Turtle doves and collared doves. Easily could be identified. From where? From the diagram. Do not go start hunting for the passage uh, in the passage. In the passage nothing of this was mentioned. This you remember that yes, this I cannot recall. This was not there. Where was it then? Then it must have got something to do with the diagram. Look up there and that is very easily identi uh, identifiable, you know. Next one. The massive hunt for passenger pigeons grew in. Now again you remember that somewhere 1500 is there and then 2-3 lines after that 1800 you, you, do, you do remember 1800 was somewhere there. Go back, look up there and you will find that the massive hunt for passenger pigeons grew in 1800. The species of the varied population of passenger pigeons is no, 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 where was it? Somewhere, somewhere like in the middle of the paragraph. There you will, there you will find and there you will be able to locate the word lemmings. 
one clear reading of the passage, then the question answers and then hunting the answers becomes quite easy. Based on the reading of the passage, choose the fact that the researchers find about the number of passenger pigeons. Its number started deteriorating with the arrival of the Europeans. See, based on the reading of the passage, choose the fact that the researchers find about the number of passenger pigeons. Yeah? Number of passenger pigeons. It was in free fall even before the arrival of the Europeans. It became extinct after the arrival of the Europeans. Its species began to multiply. Multiply is not there at all. Extinct? No. Its free fall even before its numbers started deteriorating with the arrival of the Europeans. See, there may be one or it will be easy for you to locate five to six answers. But for one or two, you will really have to scratch your head. You will have to go through the passage again and, and you will be able to find them without problem. No? So with this, we come to the end of your reading section. The two unseen passages that you are supposed to do and after you finish them, you are confident enough because you have attempted them so well. Now you will move to your writing section and then your literature section. But then again I am telling you children, the thing that you need to remember is that you need to practice. Don't think unseen is unseen, so you will just directly go there and do it and you will be able to do it. No, it is not like that. Even when you practice at home, like suppose you have not been able to find the answer to question number 2 and you know there are solved answers. Don't look for it immediately. Leave it, move to the third, move to the fourth, then the fifth, again the sixth one you are stuck up, no problem, leave it, come to the next. Now when you look up for the correct answers, do self-evaluation, put a tick, put a tick, where you got wrong, cross it and where you had to look for the answers, see the answer and then look back into the passage where the answer was and how you missed it, do that self-analysis. Be your own teacher and be honest to yourself. So when you are honest to yourself, your performance will certainly improve your examination. All the best. Thank you so much.